Entrant, Terra Force. Project name, Exeter Estate. Owner Occupier, Kingsill Group. Architect, Zian, and Goss Design. Engineer, Godomsky Consulting Engineers. Main Contractor, D. Corton Retaining Systems. Subcontractor, Allen Dawson Gardens. Precast Manufacturer, Clatmuts Concrete. Kings Hill Development, The Keep, and New Land Development started construction in 2021, on 10 exclusive, 650 to 800 square meter homes, in Bishop's Court, Western Cape. Immediately, they were faced with steep, heavily contoured ground, necessitating extensive earth retaining walls. The TerraForce retaining system was specified as the best solution, offering a block, that is unique in its versatility, both in application and elevation. Each of the luxury homes, featuring tennis courts, lap pools, steam rooms, temperature-controlled wine cellars, and multi-car garages, required raised building platforms, to create enough space for large front and backyards, to accommodate these amenities. The resulting cut slopes were stabilized with TerraForce L12 blocks in charcoal, with the round face of the block facing outwards. Selecting the round face finish, is what allowed space for topsoil, and ultimately, the addition of 10 different indigenous ground creepers, planted meticulously by Alan Dawson Gardens. Says Jeremy Layton, decorton retaining walls. In total, 30,000 blocks were installed by us on site, our first project with the TerraForce L12 block in charcoal, and a round face finish. There were some complications with stormwater damage, after the extremely strong storms this winter. As specified by TerraSafe, surface stormwater channels are a crucial part of the retaining wall installation, to inhibit water ingress. This prevents heavy rainfall damaging the retaining walls. Adds Layton, the design parameters by Dennis Belter, Godomsky Consulting Engineers, stipulated that each of the cut slopes was to be retained with three 2-meter TerraForce retaining walls at 70-degree angles, except for the walls running along the back boundary of the estate, and where mature trees had to be circumnavigated. The bottom third of each terraced wall, is concrete filled, and some of the larger walls are geogrid reinforced. Each wall is fitted with subsoil drainage, and sand drainage layers, running along the back of the cut embankments. <laughs>